Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a very simple yet a little bit of a switched up sort of a makeup look tutorial. Um, this video is mostly going to be a talk through video like 99% because I've spoken throughout the entire video and you will see that. The reason is I wanted to take you guys through steps, uh, just basic steps that I'm going to be following. This is about a look that I would do for myself and a look that I actually do follow and I actually do for myself if I do have to step out and if I have about 5 minutes or 10 minutes just to glam up, get ready and just step out and it honestly doesn't take that long since this is a talk through video it's the reason why the video is slightly longer and I've tried my best to explain the steps uh, Here are some videos of it's and reason why I found on the web Hey, look. hey Siri, are you crazy? <laughs> Oh my god, Siri's gone mad. Anyway, so this video is especially about what I do and why I do certain steps and I've tried my best to keep it as simple as possible. If at all you're interested, please keep on watching. So guys, I've already prepped my face with the MAC Prep and Prime Primer. This has an SPF of 50. It also has a dewy, hydrating, nourishing feel to it. I do want to mention that I actually already started with this half of my face. As you can already tell, it has a little bit of a difference. This side is where I'm wearing my MAC, uh, I'm sorry, my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the shade Y405. And I'd already started to, you know, do my makeup. And that is when I thought for the next video, that is when I thought that, you know what, I should probably wear it on camera and show you all how quickly you know this look can be done something that i normally do for myself if i have to go out to an event or you know i'm just gonna go out getting dressed up and all of that so yeah it's actually pretty simple and it's one of my go-to five minute what i call my five minute makeup tutorial i do have some allergies going on at the moment there is um something that my my skin reacted to some medicine and um, there is a little bit of imperfection over here that you see which I'm sure it's just gonna go away with a little bit of time so if you do see a little bit of imperfection going on over there I'm really not trying too hard to cover it up it's just gonna be you know what it is like I'm just applying the remaining foundation the remaining foundation on my neck so this is Y405 I have a mirror here I have my mirror there so that I can really look at you know what my skin is looking like uh, I also changed my lighting setup a little bit so I do not have like a lot going on it's just my camera and I'm sitting on the floor and you know I'm just prepping myself for the rains because if you guys know I normally film all my Instagram videos by my bedside like literally uh, by the window and I've moved a certain number of things in my room around so that I can sit on the bed and film my videos in natural light so if you do follow me on Instagram you've already seen that there's never you know like a lighting system that's going on it's normally just waving as for the sunlight so yeah this is basic and um, this is gonna be like a chit chat video I'm really not worried about making this like a small video the steps will be really small though okay now i do not use a concealer in my everyday life with my foundation if i do need to step out i do not care about like a hundred million steps i really wouldn't i just do what works really well for my skin like you know i do not believe in loading my skin with a hundred number of products but if you need to you can use a concealer around your under eye area a little bit around the mouth area or wherever you know your face feels that it is a slightly darker i am going to be using it right now because the light may be you know dropping a sort of a shadow around my under eye area and also i'm not perfect i just want to put it out there this is just for the sake of the video but in my everyday life i do not really enjoy so many steps you know i don't have the time for that man like seriously so yeah i'm just gonna apply very little as you guys saw this will add a little bit of dimension it will also conceal all of that darkness, the unevenness. It will also uh, brighten the under eye. This particular concealer actually helps me brighten the under eye area while looking like it's my actual skin color. Now when you look at me and I'm looking at myself and on the viewfinder, that is pretty much my actual skin tone. And that is what I like while doing my makeup. I do not want to change my skin tone. I do not want to change the way my face is suddenly starting to look. You know, I just want to accentuate. I just want to add a little bit of color, just a little bit of life. 
for my everyday look like there's no specific agenda you know so yeah um, I'm taking my wet n wild um, blush and this is in the shade fantastic pink I'm sorry about that noise uh, fantastic plastic pink I'm sorry I'm gonna be using my elf um, blush brush which I picked up recently from the drugstore and you know I have already started to use this brush what I like about it is that it just applies blush in a very different way like I've used a lot of brushes but nothing like this it looks like a contour brush and it actually you know you'll see it just applies the blush at almost just the right places and just the right amount you know it doesn't look like if I'm gonna pout, it almost contours, like not really, but you know. And I just love the amount of pink that this puts out. You know, it's not a lot. Of course, you can build it up and do all of that, but it's really not a lot. And what you see over here is actually dry skin almost peeling off I'm really not gonna finger that too much just gonna let it be you know what I really don't know why uh, I decided to like sit down and do this video like a chit chat one I do not do chit chat videos you know you guys like if you follow me on my Instagram you know that if I take a break between stories I always mention that it's been a long time I spoke to you guys now if I would want my makeup to stay in place for longer I would probably use my MAC Studio Fix Press Powder in the shade MC41. It goes perfectly with Y405 uh, foundation by Makeup Forever. I'm not using it because I really like to keep my face almost looking like skin. And when I do use my makeup setting spray, all of this foundation starts to look pretty much like skin. So, you know, and it stays in place either way. But if I'm in the mood for like a more perfect looking scenario, then maybe. At times I also use the same blush for my eyeshadow as well. Right now I'm really not going to be doing the pink thing on my eyes. It's really basic. All you need is any fluffy eyeshadow brush and whatever blush you're using, just use that to do the eyes. But right now I'm going to be using this particular brown. This actually helps me pretty much define contour my eyelids. It's, you know, it gives a nice shade. So I'm taking this brush by Pro Art. It's in the it's in the number PE 22. So I'm just gonna be applying that on my eyelids, beginning from the center. If you see, I do not, uh, you know, I'm not using a primer. I'm really not even worried about using like a compact on my eyelids because this is honestly just me in my everyday life. I'm just gonna blend it, put it in the center. That's it. You know, just just gonna work it around. That's it. I'm really not being too specific about this obviously you can build it up or tone it down as well but you know i'm really least bothered what i'm gonna do is just add a little bit of depth a bit of contour and that's it and you know whatever's remaining i'm just gonna apply it on the eyelids you can of course tone it down remember i'm saying that again and again it could look a little bit louder but you know i do not mind this as well and this is just as simple as it can get just to add a little bit of more dimension so that the eyes do not look really flat like if you can tell the difference between the side and the side it does look slightly more done and it doesn't look like you know it looks like you've put in a little bit of effort but you know not a lot you don't need to waste a lot of time and you can really be as careless as you want to be with this thing that's about the eyeshadow you can also take um, a shade like this or you can use your highlighter for the brow bone just to lift up the brows or if you have watched I'm gonna take this one or if you have watched my uh, haul video I've spoken about or any other uh, makeup tutorials then you probably see me use the wet n wild crayon and I spoke about that it's the brow lifter I guess that's what it is called and it's hardly costing three dollars or something you know so just apply that on your brows you can use that even in everyday life at times use a plucker for my brows like if I'm traveling and stuff like I'm out for like a month or something uh, I do not really you know I'm not really bothered about not going to 
I mean about going to a different salon like if I'm traveling I do do that like I do go to salons abroad and I'll get my eyes eyebrows eyes threaded my eyebrows threaded and all but I do always have a plaque with me right now I'm not doing my eyebrows because you know they're a little bit undone I just got back to India and I'm going to be going to the salon this evening to get my nails done and my eyebrows so yeah uh that's about the eyes of course for the eyebrows I mean I really would like to skip this step because I've done this a million times in all of my videos but in case you're new to my channel I would really like to do this step for you honestly like if you have followed my videos earlier then you might have noticed that I used to never fill in this gap over here like I'm so happy with it I don't know it's about I just love that my brows are anyway really full and in shape like I really don't need to do much with them I I'm a little blessed on that front but uh, you know just to complete a look at times you need to fill them in which is why I'm using the My Glam Brow HD powder I just use this uh, thing all you need to do is you know kind of just draw fill in this gap over here draw it in do whatever you want to do with that uh, yeah especially when it comes to my everyday look I like to keep them looking as natural and as less done as possible but at the same time really like you know in shape and stuff I'm also going to be going a little bit under my brows over here wherever there's a gap and just going a little bit from the under you know just defining it a little bit and similarly I'm going to be doing that on my other brow as well and yeah right now they're not perfect it is fine you know I do not have complaints right now with this the next thing I'm using is the Maybelline Brow Drama. Again, I picked this up recently from the drugstore. I do want to mention that I also like using the NYX uh, Brow Mascara that is in the shade Tinted Black, I believe, or I'm really not sure, something to do with black. And um, the other one I also like using is Inglot. I have tried it, but the one that I have, they sent it to me. Uh, they do not collaborate with me so much but the only time that they gave me makeup not like they sent it but I was at their store for some event the only time uh, the only time that I have used a little bit of Inglot makeup was when they gave me some stuff I've really not even been to their store otherwise I don't know why but that brown mascara was a little bit lighter than my actual brow color I think it's called dark brown or something it works fabulously but just not for my brows you know I did apply them and I looked like I had different brows like good brows but lighter brows yeah so that's about the brows I would be using um, an eye pencil for my inner waterline the upper one if you do want to apply this in your lower waterline as well you can do that but right now I'm just applying it over here when you do apply mascara any sort of a mascara your lashes will not look like they're separate from the inner waterline like you'll understand you know there wouldn't be that empty gap that's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, we do have a little bit of a mess up situation going on here. But that's alright. This was the Smashbox eye pencil. I'm really not sure if I did mention that. And I'm going to be using the Pumped Up Maybelline Mascara. Absolutely loving it. I actually used it yesterday to film a video. I'm just going to be applying this and very lightly, um, you know, uh, stroking it on my eyelashes that's what I'm doing and you'll start to see a difference with just this light hand itself see that like I'm really not perfect at it yet and if you do want to add a little more lift of course just give them a little tug at the bottom um, Maybelline outdoes itself when it comes to mascaras like I do not know what they have different going on they have so many different kinds of mascaras and I've never felt failed with even one I did mess up my eyelid a little bit but we will fix that I think this video is going to be never ending I'm just going to be fixing this with an earbud I do not have a q-tip so we're working with what we got Next I'm taking is the same eyeshadow brush and running it around so that it looks like, you know, it's, it doesn't look like there's just one blotch going on over there. So these are my lashes now. 
I normally apply mascara on my lower lashes if I'm in the mood for it. If not, I just let it be and right now I'm not in the mood so I'm just gonna let it be. For my jawline, I'm gonna be using the MAC bronzer. This is the matte bronze. It's called the matte bronze bronzing powder. I'm applying this on This will just add a little bit of definition, you know, not too much. We're not being over dramatic here. And that's pretty much the entire face. So now, next I'm gonna do is use the Dose of Colors highlighter in the shade Fuego. It's the Desi X KD highlighter. I'm using this because I really like to add a bit more glossy like looking skin, you know, like glossy, glossy skin. That is when I like to use this highlighter. This would not necessarily be my, you know, a part of my everyday look, but I'm just gonna add it so that in case you guys wanna glam up a very simple looking look, that's how you do it, you know? And I also recommend, look at that. I also recommend using the Wet n Wild highlighter. More glossy. Yeah. I haven't contoured my nose for this look because I normally don't but if you do want to do it you know go ahead do that what I'm gonna do instead is just use the highlighter along the length of my nose like along the bridge and starting here it's gonna add this part is actually gonna add a bit more of a narrow looking look while highlighting it and of course adding a bit more at the tip and a bit more over here this bit is gonna narrow the look of your nose. This is what works for me and in natural daylight, it almost looks pretty much like just a little bit of definition for the eyes, a bit of lashes, a bit of blush to add some color. And of course I'm adding this right now. Normally I wouldn't if I wanna go in for like a matte eye look, I wouldn't. But if I do want to add that glossy look, I do take uh, the highlighter over there, all the way there. Uh, if you want, you can also brighten your under eye area using a yellow loose powder. The one by Bharat and Doris is really amazing. You can also use the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder, which I have been using a lot of late and I've really been liking it even though my skin is dry I really do like how it feels on my face and yeah so I've been trying to work it around my ways and you know it's been working well so far I'll let you guys know how I use it for my super dry skin right now I'm wearing the wet n wild lip balm it's the tinted lip balm I do not have it here with me you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and add a bit of liner for my low waterline And I'm just gonna blend all of that eyeshadow in using my beauty blender just a little bit wherever necessary. Next, use a lip color of your choice, whatever you're in the mood for. If you want a nude lip, go in with a nude lip. If you want a brown with pink undertones, or just brown with brown undertones, or red undertones, or whatever it is, or just a red lipstick, go in for whatever you like just a red lipstick you know just just go in for whatever you like and right now i'm really not sure as to what i want to go in for for this particular look but i have been using the jeffree star one of late a lot in a lot of my photographs and a lot of my videos i think this looks nice let's go with this next i'm going to be using is a setting spray i am actually almost done with my max setting spray it is still there, but there's just a little bit to go and I'm saving it for the next few days when I'm sure I'm gonna be needing that. Uh, I also have been using a lot of new setting sprays. Um, of course, the NYX Dewy and Matte Finish setting sprays are something that I do recommend for uh, dry and oily skin and also for days when you do want a dewy looking face or a mattified looking face. And I also have been using the Estee Lauder one, the Smashbox one. A lot of PR came in recently and uh, right now I'm using the Cover FX 24 hour wear high performance setting spray. This has been working well for me so far so let's see how it goes now. And you just want to bounce the beauty blender towards the end, just going to set everything in. 
and make it look skin like very lightly so that is my entire look thank you so much for watching this video guys i really hope that this was helpful to you i really hope that you found it useful and that you picked a thing or two from this video um, while watching it and yeah this was meant to be this could have been like a five minute tutorial like honestly like within five minutes i could have done the entire voiceover and just finished off with the video but i just wanted this to be like a step by step how i would do certain things for myself kind of video i'm sorry if you found this really long and if i wasted your time but i really hope that this was more than that it was more useful and yeah have a great day i'll see you guys super soon in my next one bye guys hey siri um are you free for lunch yes i'm your assistant 24 7 that is so awesome uh that is really amazing, Siri. Would you want to have a salad maybe? Today? If not today, Sunday works for me. Oh, I'm quite content with what I have. You just don't like to be friends with me, Siri. That's nice. I'd like to be your friend. Really? That's what I reckon. Thank you so much. You made my day, Siri. Thanks to you, I have a job. And now I need to go back to mine. Bye! I beg your pardon. I need to go back to my job, CV. Bye! Until we talk again. Hasta la vista. Oh, she hung up on me. Bye, guys. <laughs>